Thanks for joining this session. We are now preparing a demonstration of the pendulum experiment. We get the frequency first of a simple pendulum and afterwards we try to get a normal pendulum with a damping effect. What we need is first material, a rope, a bucket, a mass and a carabiner. Carabiner is needed to fix the rope to the swinging point, which is in this case a branch of a tree. Then we prepare the experiment by greasing the carabiner and putting the mass in the bucket. And we measure the length of the rope, that one. We could measure also the weight, but it's not needed. We can evaluate what is happening. We leave the pendulum swing for a certain time. How much? 60 seconds. We got 18.5 swings in a period of 3.24 seconds. If we use the formula given by the theory, the time of the single swing is 2 times p square root of L, the length of the rope divided by the gravity factor and we get 3.30 quite close to the value of the experiment we are within a deviation of 2% in the second part of the experiment always using the same pendulum but with a different task to measure the behavior by damping one mass 1.9 kilograms and the second mass 3.6 kilograms we prepare the rope with the carabiner and the bucket and then we put a second bucket here for reference of the vertical position because eventually we need to meter this angle. We need a software to get a small slow motion picture of the swing. We need to capture the picture and to meter the angle. For the mass number first we put the mass in the bucket, we meter the weight. Then we meter the angle at the beginning of the trial, at the end of the trial. And the same we do for the mass number two. Eventually, we are getting the angle at the beginning of the swing, the angle at the end of the swing, and we determine the coefficient C, the damping coefficient, for the two masses where the angles can be different. And each trial is lasting 60 seconds, and as far as the two C values are the same, then the trial succeeded. In the appendix, we will see how to calculate C. Then the equation of the simple pendulum can we put sin theta equal theta, and therefore the equation makes this form, which is simple, and we can solve by means of that, where omega is square root of g divided by l. A and phi are given by the initial conditions velocity equal to zero is L times T point equal zero. And then A times cosine phi times omega equal zero. It means phi equals P divided by two. Theta for T equal zero is theta zero is the maximum elongation, which in case of the simple pendulum does not change. And by means of that, we we'll get A equal theta zero and then the solution becomes theta zero times sinus of omega t plus p divided by two which is theta zero times cosine omega t and the period is given by this formula so in this assumption the pendulum swing does not change. The second appendix described the pendulum with attenuation where the equation is a little bit more complicated as the first one because it appears this factor which describes the damping and the solution is given by this function where beside the cosinus function and the amplitude we have this attenuation function. The frequency is given by this formula which in case of C0 is the same as before so square root of g divided by l otherwise is including this factor 
which is a negative factor. It means the frequency because of the attenuation is slower. And uh, the function which describes the attenuation is E2 minus sigma times t. And sigma is the damping factor divided by m and divided by 2. So it, the bigger is the mass, the smaller is the attenuation. The two remaining constants, which are a and phi, are given by the initial conditions. Velocity 0 and amplitude equals to theta 0. They are given by those two relations. And because of that, we can calculate theta at the beginning of the swing and theta at the end of the swing for the two masses, thanks to this function which is now known. And uh, by means of the time, we can estimate for tentatives the value of C. And if C is the same for both, the experiment has been successful. Thank you very much.